Hello everyone, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Just a quick tip for you today, should be a quick video. I've got some cycle actions that I set up for one of my Reaper WRB customers. They were looking for an action that would record and then stop on the same button. And I didn't know which way he wanted it exactly, so I did two different versions. One way will uh, park the cursor at the end of the recording, and the other version, the DAW style, will uh, go back to the start, and then you would record into another take in the same time position. Now, if you just want these actions and you don't care about how they were made, go below this video. There is a link to download the two cycle actions that you would just import into the SWS cycle action editor right in this window here, down at the bottom, import, and import into section main. You just grab that download, select it, bring it into here, click apply, and then it will be available in the action list. So let's look at how these actually work. Record, stop, tape style. I'm just gonna run this from the action list. I haven't assigned it to a key yet. So it's recording now. And if I hit it again to stop it, it's going to move the cursor to the end and I can record again. Pretty simple. And it's going to just save the, those files at the end of the recording. That's pretty much what a cassette tape recorder would do. The other style is a little bit different. So I'll hit run for a bit. And I'm recording and then I hit it again and it stops and it's kept the cursor in the original position. And I go again, it's going to record into another take. And now we have two takes there. So two different ways that this can be used. And now let's look in the cycle action editor to see how this is actually done. The cycle action editor is just such a uh, helpful tool for, um, for building actions like this. So here's the tape style one. This action will check if the next action is on using the if command. And then it's going to look if transport record is on. So if it's on, it's going to move the edit cursor to the play cursor, and then it's going to stop and save all recorded media. And then end if, that's the end of checking to see if that transport record action was on and the file steps. And then we've got an if not command. So if the next action is off, meaning if record is off, it's going to start recording. And then end if. So the first section is just checking if the transport record is on. It will then move the edit cursor to the play cursor and then stop. So you'll have your edit cursor parked at the end of your recording. If recording is not enabled, it will start recording. Pretty simple. And DAW style, it's really exactly the same, except it's not moving the edit cursor to the play cursor. So there you go. Pretty simple cycle actions that you can set up yourself. You can just import mine. And it's just nice because you can use this with the same key rather than using two different shortcuts, using one key to record and then another key to stop. And this was requested for a, um, for a custom web remote. And I think this will solve that user's problem and probably come in handy for some others. So that's where I'll end this video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.